July 4th. Dear Journal, it's finally happened, the zombie apocalypse! I saw it happen right in front of my eyes a few days ago. I'm so bored, and that's the only reason I'm even writing in this old thing. I've been stuck in my little house for almost a week now, but I guess I should write this down, just in case. I live next to a lake in a lake community. I'm not right on the lake, but I'm across the road from it, so I still get the extra bonuses of private beaches and the docks. And that's where I saw it. About three days ago, one of my neighbors went crazy! I don't know his name. I never really went outside much. Of course, the one day I did, the apocalypse happens. But he lived right on the lake. All I saw was him swimming in the water. They started retching and foaming at the mouth and flailing. I swear he tried to bite another guy in the water, but I got out of there before he tried to get me. When I looked behind me, he was just floating there. He looked dead, but I bet he was faking. Zombies don't drown. No one was panicking as much as they should have, but they probably forget that now. And then I saw other people jump in the water, foaming and flailing and growling gibberish. I got home as fast as I could, and I sealed every entrance. I have to go now. It's getting dark. I don't use the lights. It'll attract them. How ironic. The day we celebrate our freedom is the day I'm locked up here, possibly the only survivor in this town. Maybe the world already. July 8th. Dear Journal, I'm running out of water. I stocked plenty of canned food. I've been prepared for the zombie apocalypse for a long time. No regrets. And the first thing I did after defending the house was fill all the sinks and any bottles and buckets I had with water. But my house is pretty small and I don't even have a bathtub, just a shower and one bucket. I have two sinks and a few empty water bottles. I didn't plan this as well as I thought. July 10th. Someone's knocking on my door. I can hear them. I think this is the end. July 12th. The knocking happened around 7am two nights ago. I spent yesterday reinforcing the doors and windows just in case they came back. I think it was a horde. Thank goodness I boarded up the doors and the windows. They were persistent too. How'd they even know I was here? Maybe they smelled me, but I'm leaving soon so I have to be careful. I'm packing as much food as I can and I have a few bottles of water left. I found an old wind-up radio used during a power outage a few years ago. Winding it up for a minute gets you 30 minutes of power. I'll listen to it later. I need to prepare. If the lines are still on air, maybe I can get info on a safe spot and the other survivors. July 22nd. I'm very far from home. I've been too busy to write, so I'll document what happened. I looted some houses and found some water bottles, so I was good for a while, but I'm running out again. I followed a river that's flowing away from my old lake, but now I'm near the main road on the other side and following another stream. I didn't drink the lake water, obviously. Zombies were in that water. Gross. I did see a few of them, but the most memorable were the pair near the stream. I think they were trying to drink or something because there were two of them, a male and a female, maybe siblings or spouses or something, who were gurgling and coughing and pushing their faces into the water. It wasn't even deep enough to cover their faces, but they kept doing it anyway. They didn't look like zombies, they weren't rotting or anything, but they were foaming and flailing and, well, I don't really care. All that matters is that I got out. It's a miracle they didn't see me. I have to be more careful since that day. I don't want any accidents. It's also been getting a lot hotter. July 26th. It's so hot, it's boiling. It was nice before, but now it's just brutal. I already drank all my water. I'm following another stream now. I might have to drink from this, but I think it's safe. I haven't seen any more zombies. Maybe they all died. If they are at magic or nuclear or something, it's been thought on zombie survival form that they all should follow the normal rate of decomposition and die again. Especially if it's really cold or really hot. But the ones I saw two days ago weren't rotted. Maybe they were bitten or however they spread the infection and are new zombies. Ugh, I'm so thirsty. I'm gonna have to drink from the stream, rest, listen to the radio, learn some stuff. Should be safe. I haven't seen any zombies for days, but I've been avoiding the roads just in case. July 28th. The Center for Disease Control announced today that eradication of Pneumatomorpha hominis, or the human horsehair worm, has been widely successful, and further outbreaks are highly unlikely. Household castor oil has been proven effective against all stages of infection, and should now be available free of charge at your local pharmacy. Citizens are reminded to drink filtered water and repeat treatment if experiencing an unusual persistent thirst or a sensation of heat.